most people don't know people with brain cancer dying from cell phones, and they know everyone who uses cell phones. But what they do see is people dropping like flies from lack of energy, from heart attacks, from cardiac arrhythmias, from autism, from Alzheimer's. This they see. So they have to understand it's not just the brain cancer, it's everything else. If you have these things, EMF is a massive contributing factor that you've got to pay attention to it. And what I did was I re reviewed a whole bunch of studies on various kinds of EMF exposures, each of them showing uh, uh, neuropsychiatric effects. I'm tired all the time, I can't sleep, I can't concentrate, uh, I'm depressed, you know, I'm anxious all the time. All, all the things, uh, I, my memory doesn't work well anymore. Sure. All the things everybody's complaining about. We know all those things are caused by EMF exposure. fundamental problem we have is that not one of these devices, not even one, not even one, are tested biologically for safety mm -hmm. before they're put out to expose an unsuspecting public. This industry, the telecommunications industry, is well funded and perhaps maybe even more well funded than the pharmaceutical industry and do a very, very effective job of lobbying federal legislators and in connecting with the media to give them disinformation that only supports their position. Any researcher comes up with opposing views is discredited and they're defunded. When you look at the effects of EMFs on, on the brain, and when you look at the effects of EMFs on the reproductive system, they both develop slowly over time, despite the severity of the eventual effects. And that's something that, you know, that, that I think all of us keep in mind. Yes, you should lower your, radio, your exposure, get a meter, measure it, lower it as much as possible. But you also want to live a healthy lifestyle. By doing that, you'll actually improve your ability to withstand the damage from it.